to build your business without prospecting? Is it even possible? And if, how? Coming up. Welcome back to my channel, Lenka Katzpah from growwithlenka.com, helping you hit your online breakthrough. On this channel, we're talking about online businesses, how to make money online, tools, strategies, and everything that you need in order to hit your online breakthrough, become the next online star, build passive income, and live your dream lifestyle. So today we're talking about how to build your business without prospecting. By prospecting, I mean actively searching and talking to people if they're open to join your business or buy your products. That means talking to 20, 30, 40, some insane recruiters, maybe 50 and more people a day to see if they're open. You are actively seeking for a sale, which may be even annoying for some people versus marketing and letting people come to you attract them attraction marketing this is not about which one is better both of them are and actually combination is the best version however some of the people really look for a way how to do it without prospecting part is it possible absolutely and i'm going to cover steps that are necessary to do that and stay until the end because i'm going to give you a bonus video how this is done more in depth if you want to know how this is done hit like right now and as i said both marketing and prospecting are great ways the combination is the best there's no right or wrong it's just a different form of building different way how to build your business but having a conversation with finding a place where to really pitch your thing that is not for many people it's wrong kind of mindset and wrong approach but we're gonna cover more on that in this video with active prospecting you get results faster so much faster and right from the start if you're new or you're struggling you should definitely do prospecting in order to get results because having just marketing part, trying to attract people to you so you don't have to prospect, that takes time. And it's gonna take a lot of time. And you need to be consistent and you need to do it for a long period of time, get that long-term mindset. If you're not ready to do it, don't even start. Or really prospect in the beginning, at least a little bit, get those 10 conversations a day, five, if you are really tight on your time and do the branding and do the steps we're gonna cover today with it along the side. But don't expect the results right now in the beginning from the attraction marketing. It really doesn't happen overnight and you need to be ready that this doesn't duplicate that much. Only the builders, only the leaders, that top person that will join your team only that person will probably be able to duplicate this and really learn both duplication as well as attraction marketing and build the huge empire but it's up to you if you want to really build another leader leaders create leaders right or if you want to really go for masses go for no talk to even like 100 people, get a couple of people in and be ready that most of them will die in their first month or a year. So prospecting is where you start. And once you want that leverage, there where the marketing comes in. First, because of the time period. And second, it's, it's really leverage. It's business on steroids. You can scale there because you can talk to only a certain amount of people. However, with your videos and marketing and posts and everything that you put out there, so much value that stays on internet and people can actually find you eventually in the future. That offers you the leverage because you can impact enormous amount of people every single day. So all that branding, all those videos, all those posts, blogs, blog posts, all that is working for you 24 seven, even when you sleep, that's where the leverage comes in. So you can generate leads, have automated follow-ups and even close sales without you ever talking to people. But that does take time. It does work. I have recruited so many people that I have never talked to. They reach out to me, I've just joined. 
and or I got a message that someone joined so I can actually contact that person and help them get started but I have never talked to that person because they have found something on Instagram something on YouTube something on Facebook they have found the way to get to me so in order to leverage this is a must have must do to incorporate the marketing has to be part of your business if you want to scale so I'm going to share with you the exact steps right now. If you know someone that would benefit from this video, share this video with them or in your teams, in your Facebook groups, share this out because this will help them really leverage and scale. Or if they're struggling, this will help them move in their business forward. And don't forget, stay until the end because I'm going to give you the bonus video with more in-depth steps to make this work for you and your business. Before I give you the steps, let me tell you one thing. If you really struggle and have, don't have any results, keep prospecting. Really keep prospecting because that will give you, that will help you to get the instant results. That will help you to get the fast results. So you can build and learn and implement everything you need to along the way and really have that long-term mindset. You need to be ready to build this six, nine, 12 months to make this work and really have that 10 K month because otherwise, if you're not all in and follow these steps, you will continue struggling and you will not scale the results that you have right now. You need to understand that when you're starting out, it doesn't matter what results you have. If you are a six figure earner the traditional way by prospecting, not doing this maybe online or just prospecting without building your brand and nobody knows you, then yes, the results and social proof can help you a little bit fat to make it faster. But still, when you're starting out, nobody knows you and probably no one will listen to you. You need to build up that authority. When you see someone talking on a video and they have thousands and thousands of views versus someone that just started and they have like 20 views, who will you listen to and who will you trust more? Who got the time in and really build the brand and build the authority so people go and listen to their videos? Person with that more value out will have higher value on the market. So you need to win the trust and really stick around for a long period of time. Let me know below in the comments if you have tried attraction marketing before and what were your results so far. So that was step number one, long-term mindset. You have to stick to this procedure for a long period of time so you can build up that authority. Second step, in order to attract people, you need to be on a higher level than themselves. That means putting out so much value, they just cannot ignore you. The same thing with the videos that I have just mentioned. The person who has more views has higher value than the person that nobody is still watching, nobody is still listening to them, they don't have the engagement because they haven't put in the work. You need that wow effect. When you see someone who has hundreds and hundreds of likes, who has thousands of views on their videos, you immediately have respect for them and you value what they're saying because they, you know that has to be someone. It's a leader with authority. And they've been putting out tips and tricks and hacks and so much value that you are interested in what they got to say. And here comes even that scarcity mindset. Why would I do it? Why would I give them my secrets? Or I just want to give them a little. And if you want more, I'm going to sell you the information. That's a scarcity mindset. And that's exactly why it won't place you on that higher level. If you want to attract leaders, you need to give them higher information that they already have. You want to give them the top secrets and actually put it out for free without expecting any expectations of receiving something in return. That will bring up that authority to the next level so you can attract higher position people. Does it make sense? And if you feel like you don't have that kind of value, go learn. Start doing that stuff and learn. Any profession you will ever have to do, you have to study for it. You have to learn the craft before you can maybe share it with others and teach 
people that are new to do it. You have to learn the stuff we all have to. Third step is connecting with people. It's not only about putting the value out there, the piece of content and saying click the link below for more information. It does work, but why to leave money on the table? If you really want to scale and really build the brand faster and build up that real influencer position, you will need to engage with your target audience. So reply to every comment of your content, engage on their piece of content, connect with them through direct messages and on messenger. And again, you have to commit to do it for a long period of time, at least six, nine months minimum. And if you're not able to commit to this, honestly, don't even start. This will not work for you if you're not ready to engage with your audience. It will be such a slow process and you will not make that connection. You need that in the beginning. And understand that in most of the businesses, you have to work for years, four or five years before you break even. With online, you can break even in days, in weeks, and you can build up that 10K month in nine, 12 months if you really put in the work and you really do it as it's supposed to be done with right kind of mentoring and right kind of steps and tools, it can be done. But you have to commit to that daily method of operation that needs to be put in. And you can use whatever platform you want. You can use YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, which one you want. If you need help with any of those, don't use all of it. You'll just get lost and it will not work. Just pick one in the beginning. And if you need help with that, just reach out to me and I'll guide you. Put out so much, so much value and content out there you cannot be ignored. So continue connecting and have that upfront help. Even when you get people on the call, on Messenger, on messaging people, help them. You know, when you stand in front of a person on a video call and you actually tell them, nice to meet you, how can I help you? And have that attitude, so we want to make money online, is that correct? Really helping people instead of putting down their throat some kind of a pitch. Try to really help them in with their needs, what they really truly want to achieve. Give them some bonus time. That will be so much rewarding because when they see you are helping through your content, you are helping in person, they will see the real deal and you get so less rejection, very little rejection because you come from a place of an authority and you have posture. So now a bonus tag. So I'm going to give you three step formula, how you can turn that audience into seeing you as an influencer and really turn them into leads, sales, and signups, how to turn your social media followers into leads, sales, and signups in the shortest amount of time possible without getting rejected. The exact steps that you need to make this happen more in depth training on what we've covered today. The link is below this video in the description. Hopefully you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button to get notified when new videos are out. And I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow.